Now, back with us is our resident vet, Alex Melrose, and no dinosaur with you today, Alex. Happy. That's probably a good thing, but yeah. you have brought along Prince. Something even cuter. I can hear the whole audience collectively go, oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. He's adorable. So he, the, Prince is your dog? Yeah, yeah. More specifically, my wife's dog, but he's our dog. Oh, yeah, you always yeah. say that. Cool. Yeah, you yeah. say that, but I, mean, I bet you you're the one who I goes I haven't been shopping him. for these. Yeah, oh, right, yeah, of course. So you brought him along because we want to talk about animals and the cold weather. It's getting yeah. cold. We've got the electric blankets on the bed. We've got the blankets. What do we need to do about our pets? Well, as you can see with him, you can, you can uh, accessorise, you know. <laughs> is the scarf a real way to keep your pet Prince warm or is it just you being wanting to dress him up? I'm accentuating his face, you know. He's got a fantastic face. But there are real warm garments that you can get. Now... I, I, you know, it's a bit debatable as to whether dogs really need any kind of clothes, but I guess if it's really, really wet, you know, having a, a waterproof coat is a good idea. And especially if they've been clipped, you know, if they've just been, been shaved and clipped and their coat's really short, then I have seen dogs really feel the cold. OK, so there is a, necess a necessity to have a, bl a blanket or a little jacket on at times. Yeah, it's not the scarf, but oh my goodness, yeah. doesn't he look cute. He is. Also, yeah. Prince, it's lucky you haven't got a microphone on because you're breathing very, very loudly. Well, he's very excited. Well, he is he's very because he's on he's... telly. It's exactly. pretty cool. Exactly. Uh, OK, so he's got the nice accessories. I also know we just have to... We... Oh, look at him in his rain jacket there. Good oh, boy. beautiful. Good boy. That's a little bit excessive, but very cute. And as a puppy, oh, he's adorable. Aww. I think we also need to point out the fact that Prince not only travels... <laughs> this is oh, overnight, this, yeah. ..with a signature jacket, but Prince also travels with this little overnight bag. If of you course. have a look, of course. Prince has of course. his own bag, a mini little Adidas bag. Yeah. Let's talk about other animals, though. Dogs yep. and cats, should they be kept inside during winter months? Well, they, they like to be. They like to be warmer. I mean, you've still got to make sure you get your dog out and exercise it, so it's yeah. up to you. Put your wet weather gears on, get them outside, regardless of whether they're wearing clothing or not, get them, get them walking. But they are going to spend a lot more time inside, they, and in doing so, they're going to rest a lot more. And, OK, because they like to get about a millimetre from the heaters, too, I've yeah, noticed. Yeah, They can't he, burn he, themselves? He loves the heat, yeah. That, that, uh, I mean, anything's possible. I've seen that occasionally, mm -hmm. where, especially with cats' whiskers, yeah. they'll often singe them right off. You, you think they'd be a bit more clever than yeah. that. What about animals that are in cages outside, like rabbits and guinea pigs? Yeah, yeah, so you've just got to make sure they've got tons of hay and straw inside a little very weatherproof enclosed box. So you don't need to take them into the garage or anything? You can keep you them outside yeah. still? I mean, some people do, because some people like having rabbits inside. As a, as a pet, and they train them to use litter trays and stuff. But um, if they're outside already, just make sure they've got lots of warm bedding. What about your tropical fish and your birds and things? Yeah, well, someone was asking whether the temperature needs to go up in the winter, but no, it's just make sure that the thermometer is, uh, the thermostat's actually working and the temperature stays the same. But it's got to be on. For the fish, obviously. Yeah. Well, you'll notice soon enough if it's not, won't you? Yeah, exactly. They'll exactly. start floating the wrong way up. And a big one for birds is actually just avoiding drafts. OK, because they're very, very susceptible to respiratory bugs. So keep them away from, like, windowsills where, where there's draught coming through and stuff like that. I'm sorry, Prince is just like, going, yeah, whoa, I'll what's happening over there? It. I've got to look at something. Can animals catch colds, or do you know that they're catching a cold? Uh, yeah, they can catch anything. Pretty much anything that you can think of that animals can get, mm -hmm. they can get. OK. Uh, the, sorry, that people can get, they can get. He's very distracting, isn't he? Prince, I can't stop looking yeah. at him, honestly. Do you want to just ask the questions directly? I actually do. <laughs> I really do. I, I thought you could just go over yeah, there. Yeah, go get a coffee. You leave Prince here. Prince, yeah. it's been a delight having you here. You can come back any time. Oh, you can bring Alex if you have to that? next time. Yes. Uh, Alex, it's been a pleasure. And if you want to, thank you for coming in, Alex, and bringing Prince. If you want to follow Prince, he's got his own Facebook page. I kid you not. Prince-Malrose. You can go and check him out in all of his glory.